I just received a box from Crema with uh, well some things I don't have yet and um, something they sponsored for my content. So let's do an unboxing. Here we have beautiful kind of catalogs of what Crema sells, beautiful pigments. And their process, a little booklet. So I didn't order a lot this time, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So, a few things I ordered myself a uh, little bit of extra gum arabic. Never hurts. Some uh, Cornacridones um, versions that I either don't have or, uh, well, different versions that I have. Um, PR9, PR166, I don't have those yet. Uh, PDK31, going to compare that with my version. A little bottle of New Zenix Zone. We have, let's quickly unpack this. A dextrin for an experiment I'm doing. Um, this is PY159. I do have this, but I have a different version, a different manufacturer. Uh, so I'm going to compare that before I'm going to add that to my line. A uh, little cobalt yellow since that is going to be out of production. Uh, a little refill of a PY53. I don't sell it a lot, but I do sell it and I want to have a little spare. PG50 um, Cobalt Turquoise. I'm going to compare that with the version that I have and a small bag of PG26 as some stock. We have Parisian Blue PB27. Uh, this is an historic uh, stock that they still sell. I want to try that, how it compares to well, the PG50 that I have. Something very mysterious. Let's have a look. How can we open this? Where is the start of it? There it is. This is probably the nano black, yes. It's a liquid, but you can make watercolor out of it. Nano black, nano tubes. Uh, I think this should come pretty close to Vanta black or anything similar. Uh, quite expensive, quite a small bottle. So let's try that. Uh, more bottles, reveals or tries. Mi mature brown uh, refill since that was all gone for custom orders. Uh, PV14, their version. Uh, I'm not sure if I had this, but uh, you know, never hurts to have a little bit more. Uh, refill bottle and a refill bottle of PV55. Um, so we have some more historic remains. Uh, Something similar to manganese blue. It doesn't have a pigment, pigment number, uh, so I'm going to try this. It is quite heavy though. Yeah, it's a kilogram, but this is also a kilogram, and you know, compact wise, also doesn't have a, a pigment number, but as I remember correctly, this was PB28 version, maybe it's mixed with white, so let's have a look at that. I asked uh, Mr. Kramer if I could borrow their version of Das Farbenbuch, since it is uh, not for sale anymore, not in stock here. Uh, they do sell it, but my German isn't good enough to actually read it, uh, but I did want to look at it see if it's worth it, even in German. Uh, maybe I wait till there's an English translation, um, but you know, 
thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kramer, but also Kramer Pimenta for, uh, you know, lending me this this book. I will be very careful with it. Um, now comes the uh, exciting part. So I asked uh, well back. I had a talk with Mr. Kramer if he. Um, you know, could maybe sponsor some some of the videos. Uh, they already did some sponsoring for me, but this is quite exciting. Um, I asked him about a series of videos that I am planning, and um, well, I have some pigments of these. I I, I do have uh, not all of their versions, but. Um, I'm going to make a list of this and I'm going to write it since this is their product numbers. Um, but I made a list of different pigment families, cobalts, um, quinacridones, ultramarines, uh, manganese, you name it, pigment families or chemical families. I'm going to compare them in videos, I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to teach some things about, you know, different versions, where they come from, background information, you name it. And like I said, I don't know what these all are. I don't know the, the uh, product numbers out of the top of my head, but this is what they gave to me. And uh, they sponsored this, all little pigment samples of those different pigments that they have of that family. I think for things they don't have, well, it was either because um, they are discontinued, like ultramarine green, cobalts, probably some cobalts, and this is for my order. Uh, I have a different version of these as well, hand purple. And blue, and I wanted to see how they compare to that. So, well, this this was it. Like I said, it's not a big order, but it is a very, very big thank you for um, you know all these little sample bottles uh, that they sponsor me, the Dirty Blue Channel. Um, well. I'm incredibly thankful. So again, Kramer Pigmenta, thank you very much. Um, I do want to say, since I got the question, they don't have an affiliate link, and you know, people said, you know, why don't you have an affiliate link for Kramer Pigmenta? Um, they they do things like this, and I'm very very grateful for it. If you want to try something, and I was speaking with someone about this, and I think they kind of can put a highlight on on the. Uh, item on their website, maybe. Um, I will send them an email about it as well. These are sample bottles. So this this is a sample bottle with a label of the uh, product number from the website. But a sample bottle can be literally any pigment put into this sample bottle. If you want to try a bunch, it is a couple of euros. Uh, you get this little glass bottle with a, with a neat little airtight lid and about a teaspoon of pigment. So if you want to try it, and um, you don't want to invest in a, in a big like collection box from uh, Crema Pigmenta, um, but you want to make your own kind of custom sample order, these really are great. As you can see, great little sample bottles. Thank you so much. Uh, this was a little unboxing. I literally just got this in. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, like I said, it's not a big order, you know, when it comes to the two pigments, loads of small bottles of pigments that I want to try, compare, or I want to have like a, a tiny restock bottle. Um, to answer a question, I also got, why don't you buy in bigger bulk? I do sometimes, but I find it really convenient to have like these little things uh, for in my in my cupboards. These are very um, airtight, nice plastic jars, and I really like these, uh, or any size, or any kind of brand which has plastic bottles, whether they are round or square like these. Uh, I really like this uh, better than, you know, this. I need to put that th those in a, 
in a glass jar or in a, in a bigger container, which is fine. Uh, but buying in bigger bulk most of the times means getting bags like this. Uh, for these, well, actually, I'm just going to, uh, in this case, and you know, some others, this is new for me. I have it from a different manufacturer. Um, looks a little bit different as well. But for these, this is just a little glass kind of jam or jelly jar, which works fine. This was it. Um, those are beautiful. See you next time, guys.